In the previous episode, I travelled more than 2,000 kilometers across Mongolia to see the famous Golden Eagle Festival and the majestic Eagle Hunters. This time round, I'll be travelling down south to the Great Gobi Desert with some new mates where the weather can go really haywire. So let the adventure begin. Alright, time for round two. Let's do this. Oh. <laughs> you guys look not good. You, we got LV then. <laughs> <laughs> and so we left the comforts of the city, and the journey to the Great Gobi Desert begins. Spotted some camels. Right now we are at our first stop, heading to the white stupa called the Sagan Sivraga White Stupa. It's this like bright orange and red cliffs that looks super, super magical. Ooh, I'm so looking forward. Whoa, very cool! Man, oh man, never did I thought that the first stop would be so epic already. It felt like we were just standing and walking on Mars. It was just out of this world. And it's crazy to know that this place was once a seabed like millions and millions of years ago. Amazing wow. views! Ooh. So there's a chair in the middle of nowhere. Let's go check it out. Insane, yeah. For your first Mongolian gear. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 Excited for dinner. Close. Don't know what <laughs> we're gonna eat. Yeah. And the toilet, right? <laughs> the leg of toilet. I got to in the bushes. Yeah. Pee in the bushes. I guess today's stay is gonna be a luxury one. Wow, my Sasha Gucci girl. Wow. Look at that. It's like. Gucci and Apple. <laughs> so our guide is actually our chef as well. So um, a lot of hard work. It takes about like one hour-ish, one and a half hours to prepare for our food for seven people. So definitely not easy. And today our menu is chicken with potatoes. veg, potatoes, stir fried all together. Smells good. Tastes okay. really good. I mean, chicken is very rare in Mongolia, so we gotta savor every bit of that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mokbang. <laughs> this is good. Mm. That's good. Mm. Right, so for this stove, they're using dried cow dung for the fire. I thought it's charcoal. Let's go for it lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Let's check out the toilet over here. Wow, not too bad, leh. There's a proper seat and everything. Very nice. Today's breakfast, we've got some biscuits. We have kimbap. What? <laughs> Binder, how do you do that? <laughs> Magic. Magic. <laughs> One sandwiches. And so we continued driving down south to probably the only mountainous region in the Gobi Desert. Today we are at Yolin M A M Ice Valley 
Ooh, it is so windy. But it is said that we could find some ibex, eagles, and maybe even a snow leopard. Alright, that's the mission. And we took our horses to explore the valley. Sure. Having a good time. Oh, 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 oh. Must be more manly. Turn right, turn right, pull right, pull right. Let's go! Tips anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kimchi soup for dinner. Best cook in Mongolia. Yeah, best cook. Best cook. Yeah, pay me more. Binder. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> On the next day, the weather started to take a turn for the worst. We were headed to the largest sand dunes in Mongolia the Congor sand dunes. But the weather had some other plans for us. <laughs> oh, I'm in the middle of a sandstorm! Oh my god! <laughs> We ended up not doing anything else for the rest of the day. Oh my god, it's freezing. Hey guys, whoa. It just snowed overnight and the entire desert landscape just turned white. Holy crap! Are you okay? It's been so cold. Huh? Huh? Alright, now that the weather has chilled out a little bit, it's time to climb the Congor sand dunes and oh my god! Never did I thought it's gonna be that tough. Sean, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? That's the question. Alright, we're gonna climb the sand dunes of the Great Gobi Desert. Finally, I slowly inched my way to the top and the weather up there whew, felt like a hurricane with fine sand just constantly beating against my face. It was nasty. The most intense climb ever. Yeah. Eugene, how are you climbing. feeling? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Amoda? No good. No. <gasps> Ramyon? Balanj? Um, the pokey. Jinja? Masha Sayo. We then got ourselves a very well-deserved and relaxing sunset camel ride into the desert. We 
travelled out of the sand dunes area the next day and oh my god, the unexpected snowy landscapes at the desert was just freaking epic. It was so beautiful, so ethereal. We then found ourselves at the Flaming Cliffs where the first dinosaur eggs were found and many many other dinosaur fossils were found. Pretty cool stuff. Guys, so we are having Mongolian hot stone grill. Smells so good. I mean, it's mutton, but it smells, it smells good. So good. It smells good. I'm so looking forward to this. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. It is so good. Flavor on point. Mm. Mini so we got a, a, a new driver to get yeah. over. Um, <laughs> Hi Eugene. Hey, <laughs> slowly, slowly. Gear four, ready? Gear four, let's go! Oh! 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 Let's go! Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Not gonna lie, getting my hands on the wheel of the Russian minivan was cool as hell. Totally not planned. And before we knew it, we reached our final destination at Baga Gazreen Chulu Rock Formations. We are finally done with the Gobi Desert Expedition and oh my gosh, what an adventure. I mean, the weather was just brutal. I mean, we experienced like snow, sand, lots of wind, a lot of cold and a lot of wind. It was just so challenging to film things, you know, like and yeah, the usual discomforts like, you know, the toilet situation, which, you know, is not too bad after a while. And the shower as well, I don't really care. I haven't showered in seven days. But yes, if you are able to get past the discomforts, I think it's a very eye-opening experience. You get to see a very, very different side of life that you are just not used to. And it really made me appreciate all of the little things that I have back home. I mean, having a toilet bowl is a freaking luxury. <laughs> So other than experiencing the beautiful landscapes and cultures in Mongolia, I think the most fun aspect of going on these tours is to be able to travel with like-minded travellers who are adventurous and probably also don't know what they signed up for. <laughs> and I think it's quite fun uh, to be able to go through shit with other strangers and it's a beautiful way to forge new friendships. I just want to give a huge shout out to Beyond Expeditions for having me on this tour. It's been <clears throat> a crazy three weeks. Let me know in the comments if it's something that you guys are up to. Are you able to go through the Mongolian wilderness? Can you tahan off the toilet and whatnot? Do give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps if you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next adventure. Take care. Peace. I'm going to shower because I haven't showered in seven freaking days and I feel like Ugh! I got to shower. I'm gonna shower. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, let's go!